Alrighty, so now it's time for the preliminary research phase of our project. Let me double check and make sure that we are in fact in the research phase. The data sheet walked through, that's pretty much that. So you're probably wondering, okay, so how do we even get started with this? Like, where do we, where do we even begin when we even wanna think about designing this? Cause I just went through this, this block diagram and so now you're kind of left with, okay, I think I know what I need to do, but I still don't even know how to do it. So the answer to that question is you wanna to go to component manufacturers websites because they have it's like a treasure trove of information and today we're going to be taking a look at tech the uh, texas instruments website and they make actually a lot of chips for fly they make a lot of flyback controller chips so what you'll do is you just go to ti.com i had to click on design resources and we're look down here design tools and simulation and we're going to take a look at the webbench power designer so here we'll click this again by power designer now so this is just going to give us this is going to help us search and it's going to recommend us some products to try um, that will help us make the flyback further so it's pretty it's very very straightforward you just tell it your input type so my input type is ac 85 to 265 and then we want the output to be 5 volt 1 amp or when i click yes to isolated output and remember when I, I mentioned a little bit what isolated means, so we'll go into more detail later if you need. Um, probably in the schematic capture phase, we'll talk about that a little bit. But that's basically whenever, I, like I said, the input is completely separate, separated physically from the output. Um, they're not actually touching electrically. So we will click on view designs. Don't worry about any of this. This is our first project. So here it's going to spit out a whole bunch of reference designs bunch of reference schematics. Some of them look very complicated. Don't worry. Um, so let's just take a look and let's just click on the first one, right? So what this is gonna do, this is gonna pull up the data sheet for the actual chip. See if I can make this bigger. So the actual chip right here, this is the thing that actually controls the MOSFET right here. Um, and I'll, don't worry, I'll, I'll get into more detail later, but this is the thing that controls the MOSFET. So this is going to be the key to the design is, is picking one of these chips. That's like the first place you want to start is picking a chip because when you go to the chips data sheet here and I actually have it downloaded already, when you click on it, what you want to do, so what it's going to do first is going to give you, and if you take a look at, when you look at like a dozen or so data sheets, you'll start noticing TI lays their data sheets out all the same way. So this first is going to get, this first sheet is going to give us like a, brief rundown of all the features and properties of our chip that, that TI thinks mattered. Like they'll help you, it's like a quick brochure to help you pick, right? If you've never seen one of these before and you're looking and you're like 130 kilohertz maximum switching frequency, I have no idea whether I care about that or not. I'm saying, don't worry. You don't need to worry if you care, okay? We're just trying to make something. It doesn't have to even be good right now. So just, uh, just go with what, just, just pick one and let's just roll with it. Let's just kind of follow the trail where it leads. Um, so this is, that's basically what the, the first sheet shows you. I'm also going to help you filter through because a lot of data sheets, if you look at this, it tells you, I don't know if it tells you, but this, this is 36 pages. You're probably wondering, do I have to read like a straight up novel every time I want to even consider a flyback controller? And the answer is no. Um, the parts that you really want to look at, actually, we'll stop here first is right away it'll give you a typical application schematic so this is like a very simple and abridged version of what we'll be doing and it gives you a brief overview like here's all the major components um so like here's our rectifier circuit here's a smoothing capacitor slash input filter type circuit here's our controller um here's our mosfet so i hope this looks familiar right this should look like that wikipedia page you have transformer mosfet output diode right so things should hopefully if that if that looks familiar to you then then i would say you're in great shape you're doing fine if it doesn't go back and watch my older videos um so this is a good place to just stop and kind of take a look at and this is a give it a good kind of size up and see does this look like something that i kind of want to build can build um whenever you get more and more advanced you'll look at a lot more detailed information to figure out um is this will this do exactly what i want it to do the next thing we want to do is take a look at the table of contents and you'll kind of see it get lists out a whole bunch of little sections of this and basically what we want to do is skip directly to the applications and implementation section because 
this is where things get interesting, right? So this is the applications implementation. It's basically going to give you all of the information you need to design this actual circuit. So it's going to go through all of the components it's going to tell you all of these resistor values, all the equations that you need to use to calculate them based on your design parameters. And it's going to help you design. It's just going to walk you through the design process. Now I will say the reason I'm making this video is because the catch is it's actually not that simple. It, a lot of times I will complain to TI about this. Their data sheets aren't terrific. Um, they can get a little confusing. So that's, that's another reason why I want to make videos like this is because then we can struggle together. That's what I want. I mis I'm miserable and I want some company. Um, so if you just scroll down the typical application, um, it will kind of start going through some things. It's actually pretty neat. Gives you some, it actually gives you an example application um, that somebody, some TI engineer made. And we actually kind of luck out. So this is some design parameters. Um, but where, where we luck out is because the output voltage for this example is five volts and it's uh, one amp. So it's basically exactly what we're doing. Someone else did it. Now they don't give you like, like I said, it's only 36 pages. And so you could make this thing a hundred pages with all the information you need to know to actually design one of these like proficiently, but we're going to be stumbling through a lot of things and kind of feeling around blind and stuff. Um, but I'll definitely say it's, it's, this is where you want to be. Um, this is, this is going to give you the most information. So if we scroll down here, it's going to list you, like I said, the detailed design procedure. So here's going to start listing off components here. So it talks about the transformer parameter verification. So it's going to start listing off. Here's how you figure out some parameter parameters for your transformer. So it gives you some variables. Don't worry about these. We'll go over all of these. Um, here's a parameter for your transformer, which is the primary inductance. Talks about the output capacitance that you will need. Talks about capacitance for the VDD pin of our controller. Just scrolling down through this, this just lists out all of the components that you may need, or well, all the components that you will need actually, um, and how to calculate their values. So basically, yeah, I'll just, you kind of scroll down through this and there's just tons and tons of equations all to help us pick our component values. And then boom, when you get to the end, it kind of gives some application curves. These aren't really necessary. I don't really look at these. Um, again, these are, say you're, you're trying to figure out, you're really, you're really making a special design or something and you need something super specific. That's when these will matter to you. And it's important information to know, like I said, in that case, but for our case, like we're just trying to make something that spits out five volts um, and doesn't burn the house down, you know? So, Continuing to scroll down, actually, we'll go back to contents section. So like I said, the applications and implementations where you're going to spend most of your time when you're designing the circuit. Um, the other place you might spend a lot of time, you'll spend a brief amount of time with layout guidelines, but um, quite honestly, you're going to need to look up other places to, to know how to do the layout effectively and well. Um, you might spend some time at the absolute maximum rating section and the electrical characteristics section. You'll use both of these sections when it comes to designing uh, your, whenever picking component values because the applications and implementation section will refer to these tables a lot. Um, like it, it basically just tells you the pin rating. So this is the VDD pin. It tells you it has a max voltage rating of 38 volts um, before this thing gets damaged. It has some other interesting things. Like I think it'll tell you how much uh, power this thing, this chip needs to run on just some other things are a little bit helpful to know depending on uh it would just tell you kind of how it interacts with other components and stuff like that so you have some major tables you don't need to memorize this or anything like you refer to these during the design phase like it'll some equation will reference a value in this table and you'll just go and look it up and that's pretty much all this table is for so you don't actually have to read this table and, and know it like you're not going to read this table be like oh okay because of the i run value then I need to understand like how the flux capacitance is affected on the app. But like, no, it's, it's not like that. So all I'm saying is know this table exists and that you need, you can refer to it. Um, and that you probably will need to at some time. So again, these are our graphs. I don't really look at these, like I said, like at all, um, unless you have something super specific you need to look up. So, um, let's see, we'll go back to the contents, but in terms of 
other stuff. Let me see. It might mechanical packing is at some place you, you might need to make a footprint for this, but I don't know if it okay, yeah. So this is the section where when you're making the footprint for the actual component, this is where that's information is given to you. So that's where you'll find that information is the very, very bottom right here. But like I said, yeah, use this content this content section to skip around. And like I said, the most important section by far is applications and implementation. This section will refer a lot to like absolute, absolute maximum ratings, recommended operating conditions, electrical characteristics, switching characteristics, and typical characteristics. So this section will refer to a lot of this information in this section for calculations. Um, you might use this a little bit. You need the mechanical packaging section in order to make the footprint. Other than that, everything else is for the most part, it's just noise. Um, you don't really need to pay attention to it or learn. You don't need to be researching what it means to have 130 kilohertz maximum switching frequency, okay? Um, at least not right now. So, um, but yeah, that pretty much will cover, that wraps up the data sheet overview section of our, of the of this project. Uh, like I said, please leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you out a lot. Um, likes will definitely help me grow the channel something about the YouTube algorithm, I think. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we got for this section.